the vast forests of the northern Appalachian Acadian region, stretching across two nations, from upstate New York through northern New England to southeastern Quebec and the Canadian Maritimes. These forests are home and habitat to far-ranging mammals who once were free to wander. Today, those free-ranging movements are often blocked by roads and development. The Staying Connected initiative is striving to sustain and restore forest connectivity in this region for wildlife and for people. We're an alliance of nearly 30 conservation and government partners in the United States and Canada whose work spans more than 80 million acres, 330,000 square kilometers, in five states and three provinces. The partnership uses an innovative, multi-pronged approach that blends conservation science, land protection, land use planning, local engagement, transportation mitigation, and policy advocacy. As the pressures of development and climate change intensify, the Staying Connected Initiative's collaboration is vital to securing the future of this globally significant forest treasure. The Northern Appalachian Acadian ecoregion remains connected from the Tug Hill Plateau in New York all the way to the Maritimes. That is the most intact temperate deciduous forest on Earth. And that's important because globally, half of those forests have been cleared. Most of what's left is fragmented. We have the less, best chance to try to protect those forests. The wildlife animals, they need to move across the landscape just like you and I do to find food, mates. And when habitat's not connected, they're not able to go and find the things they need to survive. Climate change is a really important factor because we know habitats are changing. And so the stress on animals to reach these new locations is really important. Connectivity is really important. It's basically making sure there is some kind of permeability between all the ecosystems in a landscape. To protect connectivity, we've identified corridors and we've identified key breakage in the landscape where uh, species need to cross if we want to keep the movement. It means working across scales from habitat linkage areas at the landscape level to providing community technical assistance at the municipal level. No one organization has all of the tools to ensure that wildlife thrive under climate change. But together, the Staying Connected initiative and our partners is making a real difference for wildlife in the Northeast. From conserving key parcels of land to working with towns and private landowners to better manage critical habitat. The multi-pronged approach to habitat connectivity is a new one in the way that it allows not just the conservation scientists to work on land protection, for example, but allows us to plug in with transportation officials, with land use planning interests. We're coordinating all of these pieces that were formerly disparate agents. A connected landscape offers a variety of benefits to wildlife and people. It allows wildlife species to adapt to a changing climate, to move their ranges as the climate warms. And whether you enjoy looking at wildlife species or birding or hunting and fishing, you get more of those opportunities with a connected landscape. There's a recipe for protecting wildlife borders. First is protecting habitat stepping stones. There tend to be valleys between big forested regions, so protect the blocks of forest in those valleys. Second is around those protected lands, work with communities to steer new development away from unprotected areas through land use planning and zoning. And finally, roads are a major barrier to wildlife, so working with local highway departments to make those passable to animals. And science underpins all that work. Some of these solutions are as simple as putting signs in the right locations to warn drivers of potential wildlife conflicts. They might also include solutions like modifying culverts so that wildlife are more likely to get to their critical habitats on the other side of the road. The Staying Connected initiative is putting the boots on the ground to try and get people working together to share information, to share best practices, to learn from each other how these things are working in different parts of the region. The Staying Connected initiative is a unique binational collaboration, uniting sound science, solid partnerships, and local ingenuity, working to conserve, enhance, and restore landscape connectivity, safeguarding wildlife, 
and sustaining our irreplaceable forests for the benefit of people living in the northern Appalachian Acadian region. Together, we've secured permanent protection of hundreds of thousands of forested acres, advanced connectivity conservation with dozens of towns and regional planning commissions, and made road crossings safer and easier for wildlife. But we can't do it alone. Please visit our website to find out more and learn what you can do to help make it happen.